Yihakacha, everybody. Bradley is back. We're here with Tokugawa. This is part three. If you haven't watched the first two parts, go do it. You're going to have a great time. You're going to understand what's going on. I'm going to get that sweet, sweet YouTube ad rev and everyone's going to be stoked. I'm coming fresh off watching Chapel Roan's VMA performance. Now, I am the biggest Chapel Roan head, uh, iconic queen, everything, and she was serving at the VMAs. And so I'm just in a great freaking mood. And we're going to finish this Civ game. Science victory, plopping down spaceports, getting to space. Let's rock and roll. As a matter of kind of principle here, I'm going to try and build as many of the, or buy as many of the research labs as possible just to get them quickly. In terms of what else I'd like to do here, I suppose the best thing I can do now if this theater square is here is going to be a Diplo quarter kind of next to both of them. Why not? It gives me the envoy if we were being nearby. Might as well go for it. I'll even hold off on the Gilded Vault because at least I can buy that later if we don't get it. And then here, Research Lab 1760. So next turn, I'll just buy the Research Labs where we need them. We are getting a lot of powered up Research Labs in right now, which is pretty critically important. It, it combines a lot of these policies. Sorry, it's pretty critically important because the amount of science we're getting. But all of these yields are combining a lot of these policy cards as we move through the map. So Harbor and Commercial Hub adjacency is going together now. We have Campus and Industrial Zone adjacency going together now as well. So we're able to combine a lot more of these cards together and actually use more policy cards to get more of the things we need. I'll go Veteran C just in case we need to develop any Harbor buildings. Otherwise, I think I'm going to stick with the cards that we have. We just finished River Valley though, so the Wonder card can come out for sure. And then for now, I'm just going to go for the Extra Science. I think any Extra Science is helpful, so we might as well go for it. We're about to hit class struggle in which we are going to get the best policy card in the game for us, which is going to be collectivization. So we'll hold off on that for a second. Otherwise, going into conservation and getting a national park might be a good idea, but I think we're powering through this boost anyway. So I think we're fine. I just purchased the research lab in Tokyo because it's powered instead of the one in Sendai. It's just giving me a little more right now. And then we're going to get the shipyard, which will give us 12 more production. And there's some wonders here that I'm interested in. Statue of Liberty would be fun just to have it. Um, but there's a few other things here I might be interested in grabbing. We also have enough for a trader, so we'll get that soon. I'm going to buy this research lab, though. Oh, this consulate's going to be great for us as well. I just think that research lab right now is so valuable. We're already pushing 400 science. We want to get up probably to around 1,000 by the time this game's over, is my guess, is where we're going to end up. I'm coming in here always to make sure I'm buying up as many new luxury resources as I can. The deal is really good, what's on offer at least, and they're giving me amenities. They're pushing my yields up. They're keeping my citizens happy. So I want to make sure I'm doing that. I'm on the lookout for any great people as well. And um, there's this great engineer that has wonder construction that it looks like we're on route to get. It doesn't seem like anyone's catching up. So this one will be good. There's a couple of great scientists I want as well. So we're just going to be, you know, a little bit open to making sure we're running projects when we need to, to get these great people. She's offering me 20 uranium, <laughs> which means she's pretty far ahead and 12 gold every turn for 30 turns for two aluminum and 20 niter. I'm going to take that deal. We can build a whole nuke, everybody. Now, this is where things go crazy. Plus 10% science and plus 0.6 production per citizen for every city with a governor. That's going to be incredible. We have more policy card slots that are available. So let's see what we want to put in them. The best card in the game for us, collectivization. 44 food and 22 extra production going into the empire for all of our domestic trade routes. Feels absolutely wonderful. I'm going to add the extra coal because our power is currently running at exactly the amount of coal we have. So adding another bit of coal will give us another power plant opportunity. Um, we also have movement for starting in our own territory. That'll help our builders move around a little bit more quickly. And then we just have a lot of other good stuff that can be put in here. Do I even need gunboat diplomacy? I'm not even sure I need gunboat diplomacy anymore. I think the production in gold might be a little more helpful on the whole. So we'll do that and see how that goes. I mean, look at this trade route now, 16 gold, five production, 11 food. It's just insane. And that's in a city that really needs it. It went from not growing at all to having nine pot or having seven turns before it grows again. Then once I chopped this out, that was the wrong city. Just kidding. I chopped that out in a different city. Anyways, we'll finally be able to get this campus once that hits 10 population. In order for our strategy to pay off at the end, we need this Royal Society. It allows us to use our builder charges toward the projects that will send us into the space race. So we want to make sure we are doing that. Um, you always want Royal Society if you are going for a strategy like this. I'll emphasize again why when we get there, but I just want to make sure we've noted this down that I'm taking that now because it's very important for the overall strategy. Pretty hilariously, the only tile I can put a spaceport on is going to be this tile here. Well, the only tile in this city in Nagoya is going to be this tile right here, but there's an antiquity set on it. So I'm going to have to get an archaeological museum to go and dig that up just to make sure we can get that spaceport, which is pretty funny. Pretty hilariously, we already have a campus in Kyoto. I don't know what this pin is for. Is it for Osaka? 
Oh, we don't have a campus in Osaka, so it's for Osaka anyways. Um, I still do want to get another district here, so let's see what's on offer. I mean, any district here is just a plus three, so that's quite good for us. And so I don't see why we wouldn't just go for a plus three theater square. It's just going to give us a lot more culture, a lot more to do. Um, these tiles are going to be great for giving us power later on, so I think I might leave them as is and go and grab this aluminum mine. Uh, Wonder Construction Engineer is in, which is exactly what we wanted. I don't know exactly what we're building yet with it, but we'll th there's still a wonder or two in the bag that we might want. The Taj Mahal is available to build, which is really funny. I don't even want to use that as like the great engineer. I just think it's funny to build that anyway. Uh, it's definitely going to make sure we get a Golden Age for the rest of the game. It's just a, such a really good wonder. I think we might just get the Taj Mahal anyway. Yeah, I don't think production in this city is a problem anymore, so we'll just go and remove this woods and lumber mill. I think that's fine. We need five era score in three turns. So in some senses, getting the Taj Mahal for that would be helpful. Um, we have extra build actions too because of the um, because of the uh, mausoleum at Halicarnassus. So I'll put one into the Taj Mahal just to make sure we get it early. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's a lot of wonders that are worth it. Broadway probably being the best wonder that's worth it for us now. Bolshoi might be fine as well. Broadway is really, really good. Um, but the Great Zimbabwe is here, and it'll give us an extra trade route capacity. Plus, I just think, you know, you know what? What a good use of a wonder engineer on the Great Zimbabwe. Who even does that? I'm going to go down into Space Initiative. I definitely want uh, production award space race programs in the city, considering uh, how close we are to building a spaceport in the city. So we'll do that. Spaceport's ready to go. I'm going to chuck it here just away from this volcano. Ten turns. Can I rebuy Hercules for that, or is that not a thing yet? I can't yet, but next era I can. So let's go to the Broadcast Center instead, because next era I will be able to do it. And then I'm just going to buy the seaport here, which will be helpful for us. Yeah, that seaport's really helpful for us. I can finally get this really good plus five campus, so I'm going to throw that down there, and that should feel pretty good. A lot of these tiles up in Okayama, I'm going to save for um, power buildings, so they can go down. But the Mahavihara there is going to give us a little extra science. It's a pretty fun little building, so we'll give it a try. Check this out, the Mahavihara. Two science, one housing. It's the housing that's really good there, but we'll take it. Gonna go for the broadcast center in Nagoya. That's gonna be super helpful for our culture. Taj Mahal's coming in next turn, which gives us a boost of error score for the rest of the game. And then we're gonna send our homie, Gustav Eiffel. Uh, you're not gonna be building the Eiffel Tower. You're gonna be going for the Great Zimbabwe. I wonder, we haven't built in a long time. Part of the farewell tour is having fun, doing things we don't normally do. And revisiting things that we love. Oh, I can get another coal here for the power plants as well. Hell yeah. yeah. Have I built a castle in the air? Maybe. Oh, look at the big Ben in the background too. Incredible scenes. Incredible scenes. No one plays Civ 6 like BB. Look at me go. Look at that. Taj Mahal's done and dusted. Drone is here. I don't even want the drones. I don't even know why I teched into them, to be honest. Uh, but we're going advanced flight. We're going into satellites. I want to start powering things up without using coal. A one-turn flood barrier seems prudent. And then the old spaceport's gotta go, but first I need to buy a... Where's the dude? An archeologist is 1600, so I gotta wait a little bit. Here, can I sell this uranium for a poop ton of money? No one wants my uranium. Okay, well, never mind then. I'm glad my niter still has value to people. Coal? Oh, 27, yeah, give me that. Aluminum? 19 okay here we go now we're talking eh? it's not it's not gold this turn we're gonna need to buy that next turn but that's okay are y'all ready for this great zimbabwe action i don't think y'all are ready for the great zimbabwe i don't think i i would be surprised if most of y'all have ever even seen this thing maybe that's a lie maybe i'm just being unfair to the great zimbabwe but the great zimbabwe is gonna rock our socks off okay so we have one turn left and i need one error score to get to where I'm going. So what are my options here? How can I do it? I think the easiest thing to do is just gonna be to get Stamford Raffles and do that. And that'll give me one era score. Good use of faith. Now, which city state do I want to absorb into my empire? Are there any that have like cool, I kind of like to do it just in the middle and cause a ruckus, Vatican City. Vatican City would cause a real ruckus if I just went and flipped that to my empire. That's pretty funny. Granada's a good little city as well. I like Granada. Mogadishu would be freaking hilarious as well. It's just to go in between these two civs and just take over a whole city. 
Something that has some benefit to me, though, would be nice. If there's any oil around any of these city-states, that would be the most helpful. The city-states are really giving me nothing here. There's nothing in any of these that screams, like, I need to settle here. I definitely want something on a different continent, though, because I want to have different amenity options. I think the best thing I'm going to be able to do is Vatican City. I think Vatican City is hilarious. It's such an awful settle, too. Mogadishu is pretty freaking good. Inheriting a harbor. This is just a really funny city. <laughs> Poor Kabul, just in the middle of this. Would be... Kabul at least gives me coal. I was kind of hoping there'd be oil or something. And Shan is kind of near Ifa Jackalolol, which would be interesting. It sucks there's no obviously good option for this. I think the best thing I'm going to do is Mogadishu. Commercial hub harbor, that's trade routes. Yeah, we're going to Mogadishu, baby. That's where we're going with this bad boy. And we have entered the modern era. So let's see what the modern era has in store for us. I think it's just going to be Heartbeat of Steam we're going to want, but we'll check it out. Hick Sunt is interesting. Reform the coinage is very good. Traders can be plundered. International trade routes provide gold. We don't really have international trade routes. So Heartbeat of Steam it is. Production awards, industrial era, or later wonders. Campus district science also provides production. Is just obviously very helpful for what we're doing. Can I purchase Hercules as well? Hercules? Where are you, homie? Um, I cannot purchase Hercules for some reason or another. So that's, um, uh, why can't I do that? It's a new era. Is it just not allowed? Has it been too soon? I don't know. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. These one turn flood barriers are amazing. So we're going to do the one turn flood barrier strap for sure. All right. Who's ready for the great Zimbabwe? <laughs> who's ready for it? What a good use of Gustav Eiffel <laughs> on the great Zimbabwe. I don't think anyone's ever built this thing. I'm super stoked that I have built the Great Zimbabwe. It's a big moment in our Civ 6 career that we finally did it. We got the gold. We got the great merchant points. We're getting a trade route capacity. It's, it's a wonderful day. I guess in this trade route from Tokyo because I want to make sure that Tokyo with the spaceport has... You're not going to send every trade route from there, but it has a reasonable amount of production. Oh, plus one trade capacity, poor moi. Tourism is doubled. Don't really care about that. This I don't really care about. I do care about that I win it. And then World's Fair, we're just going to destroy everybody. So I don't need to worry about the World's Fair at all. Trade routes. Yeah, I'm going to get plus one trade route capacity there. Everything else is totally fine. Because we have a lot of the great works of writing anyway. So that's all good. No one's encroaching on any of these other victories. So things are good. We're happy. Another day, another district in Fukuoka. I had a hard time getting that out. What kind of district do I want to put here? I kind of just want to adjacency whatever I can. So it's probably worth getting the entertainment complex for this theater square. Gives Okayama a reasonable theater square. Oh, we already have a theater square there. Why don't we just entertain this theater square? I don't really need anything else. I don't need an encampment. There's nothing else I really need here. There's nothing else that's amazing. Yeah, I think we just entertainment complex this tile even. It makes the theater square two better and the campus one better. Yeah, we're doing that. That sounds great. I evidently need to be the suzerain of Mogadishu for the Mogadishu plan to work, which does make this problematic. So we'll head to Mogadishu and see if I can take it over at some point. Eight food, five production, and a bunch of other cool things going straight to the capital. Feels fantastic. Whoa, big eruption. Oh, no. What's going on? What are we doing? Can I put the builder card back in? There's nothing I want to take out for the builder card at all. Like, not even a little bit. Turns out the reason I couldn't buy Hercules is because he was alive <laughs> and Hercules was just sitting in the ocean because <laughs> I let, put him to sleep. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I couldn't buy Hercules earlier, the, uh, the mystery has been solved. <laughs> he was sleeping in the ocean, which to be fair was under my orders. So we don't hold it against him too much. Yeah, powered up city in Osaka. We got to go for oh, the seaport is also so good. We got to go for that university. We got to go for that research lab. We got to get those things rolling. Oh, no. There's a barbarian ship here causing trouble. How do I get rid of you? Can I buy my own? I can buy a U-boat. So what is this? An ironclad? What can I kill your ironclad with? My own ironclad? A drone? I mean, I wish we could send a drone. A submarine? Is a U-boat even good? Like, what is the U-boat versus ironclad? Eat my shorts, Ironclad. Get out of here. You don't you don't mess with me. We, we mess with you. I keep spending the money I want to spend on this dude. Chitsunitsa? Nah, I'm, I'm good. 
I'll get the extra trader. Well, we have tons of trader outs. My God. Okay. A 12 turn. Oh, a 12 turn Broadway on a bad tile. Yo, sign me up for that. Maybe we should have kept Gustav Eiffel. Maybe that would have been smart instead of building the great Zimbabwe with it. All right, we're going to Mogadishu. I want to take Mogadishu over really bad. I don't know how I'm going to find 10 envoys for it, but I will. All right, well, this Ironclad went and got himself murdered, so that's pretty rad. Thank you, Mr. Ironclad. Means I can fix up my harbor now, which I would love to do, so thank you for that. We sent a whole bunch of trade routes here, which is great. I guess 12 is the best we're going to do. So let's make sure we're sending it to the best possible spots. Yeah, 12 is good. And now I'm able to buy my archaeologist friend. So we're going to do that. Get rid of this and then put down a Spaceo Puerto. So that'd be 20 science for this is incredible. We can also now start putting down power. So the solar farms are going to come in. It's going to make us less reliant on coal for our power. And it will allow us to power cities we otherwise haven't been able to, which is going to be great. Um, our homie here is, is here to, to fix up some of these tiles before... Uh, things go awry in the city, of course. All right, let's get this artifact out of here. Combustion. That was the boost. What artifact did I get? I don't know, whatever. Let's put down the spaceport. That's what we're here for. Bazinga. Spaceport going down. 12 turns. I also am going to be able to rebuy Hercules. So actually, instead of doing that, I'll just get a trader real quick and then maybe a spy really quick. And then I'll build this spaceport with Hercules. Okay, the homie, the great merchant is over in Mogadishu. I have no idea how I'm going to get those envoys, but I will get those envoys and I will take over Mogadishu. We really have quite a few uh, great scientists we need to run through to get to the space race runs at the end, which are the ones that I want. So we're going to try and tech through those as fast as we can. There we go, baby. Three envoys. Watch out, Mogadishu. I'm coming. I'm coming hard. I do kind of feel bad that this U-boat is just taken on a bike and shot like this guy doesn't even understand the technology. He's like, you can swim underwater? What the hell? Can we go for our own? We're insular. Our own javelin here is pretty rad. Oh, did Broadway get built? Okay, Broadway got built somewhere else because they hate us. The, lowest. the homies hate us, so we're not getting Broadway. If only there was a... I mean, Bolshoi. Bolshoi is still pretty good and will make that theater score quite a bit better. If only there was a, hear me out, a uh, great person named Gustav Eiffel, whose whole kind of thing was putting down wonders you really wanted, that would have been very, very helpful for you. If only there was someone who could have done that for us. Oh, now it's you vote versus you vote. That's pretty cool. All right, spaceport in. Are we launching the project? Seems to me like we're going to be launching a project in a hot second here. All right, U-Boat versus U-Boat and Ironclad. Now that just feels like a scam. Can I get Steel going? When do I get Steel? Because Steel will give me walls in Takamatsu that I could use to... I can upgrade my U-Boat to a nuclear submarine. Hell yeah. Give me a nuclear submarine. What the hell? I do want a Flood Barrier, and I can't really buy a Flood Barrier. So we're just going to roll with it. Then we're launching the Earth Satellite. Only four turns for the Earth Satellite is a great deal. We are losing coal at a very fast pace, which is a problem considering coal is our main source of power. We're currently working on that. Yeah, let's sell our extras. Um, let's buy the ones we can buy. I actually would like some coal. Okay, and there's people that'll give me coal, but for a really bad deal. So it's Catherine will give me coal and Catherine likes me. Let's be friends with Catherine. And let's come in for some coal. Let's try and go for 20 coal. You love Diplo favor. You really love Diplo favor. Now, you value that coal pretty highly, I understand. But if I chuck in some aluminum for you, yeah, that's perfect. That'll hold us off for another couple of turns until we can get more solar panels online. We also need to go pretty hard in the paint for um, wind farms, which will also make this a little bit easier. All right, steel's just completed, so each city has a wall to attack with now. I'm not sure if he knew that was a thing, but yeah, nuclear sub versus ironclad. It's going to go to the nuclear sub more times than, than not, I think. War and Peace is pretty rad. We'll take War and Peace. I'm hoping this oil that we unlock as well next turn will help us maybe transition one of our power plants to an oil power plant, which would be which would be nice. Okay, well, their U-boat just killed my archer, which seems mean-spirited. <laughs> that seemed rude. I bet you they didn't see the nuclear submarine coming. All right, so we are collecting oil, but I think that's just from Hattusa. I think it's unlikely we're collecting oil from our own our own oilage here. Yeah, we got water oil, which is helpful later. 
but no land oil. Now maybe there's more city states I'm interested in taking though if there's land oil in them. Yeah, nothing crazy. I'm still pretty in on Mogadishu just as a fun thing for us to work on. I've got a spy specifically to counter spy the spaceport. It's not in range of our other spy. And I just want... Oh, Anna Karenina is such a good book. If you've not read Anna Karenina, it's incredible. Um, we're getting this coal here to hopefully help staunch the bleeding. We're using less coal for power now, though, with the solar panels going down. So I think it should be okay eventually. Yeah, we're back in a coal gain, so which is really nice. Have we unlocked? Yeah, 207 culture per turn for collective activism. So I think I'm going to take out the 37 culture per turn and put in the 200 culture per turn. Just, just as a thought, how do we feel about that? And it's per city state we're suzerain enough. So there's still a lot of options for us to be suzerain of more city states, namely Mogadishu. Although Mogadishu we're only doing because we want to uh, take it over. Synthetic technocracy, power in all cities, production towards any city projects is the one we want to go for. I can also show off, I guess we're building this anyway. I'll show it off for the moon landing using builders with the Royal Society to finish these projects more quickly. Hey, we launched the Earth satellite. Big deal for us. That's the first step in the space race project. I'll quickly go over how we're going to win this game here. So the Earth satellite's done. And the Bolshoi Theater's done. I don't even need to talk over this. The game entertains you for me. If you do enough, if you do enough, then you can just let the cutscenes and the gameplay animations take over for you. All right, sorry, Bolshoi Theater. I'm cutting you short. We got fascism. I, I think we can win without fascism this game. I think that's maybe a take. It's making this theater square a lot better, though, which is wonderful. Gorgo has captured Warsaw. I'm going to pass. You know, I think I'm going to win this game without getting involved. We're also, the whole point of this is isolationism. So I don't want to get involved in foreign wars. We go to the science screen. There are five steps here. We got to launch the Earth satellite. We got to launch the moon landing. We got to launch the Mars colony. We got to launch the exoplanet expedition. And that's got to count down until we have enough exoplanet points. So we're gonna do all of that, but that's the countdown if you're looking for it. I'm gonna start buying some builders here in Nagano because Liang's there and that's gonna give us an extra build charge. And then I'm going through with my um, money here and I'm just buying any building that will be helpful for us. Any building that's powered is the most helpful just to make sure we are good to go with all of our yields. It's hilarious to me that I still have room for another district. A neighborhood obviously helpful because we have a housing shortage. So maybe we should just put a neighborhood down just to get that out of the way. But in terms of another district, what would I want to put down? I can go right here, which will make this commercial hub better and this campus better. I mean, a holy site would be interesting. Why not? Faith is good. We like faith. We may be able to buy some more great people with it. I really want this person, actually. I might actually buy him with faith right now. I really want this person. Yeah, I'm going to do that. One level of Diplo visibility with every Civ is incredible. Um, Osaka definitely needs a spaceport. I want I want, I want, want a couple of different spaceport options. Also be a good time to buy Hercules back if I didn't just purchase the great person, but that's okay. Um, I'll grab a couple builders in Kyoto while we're waiting as well. We had a lot to do with the builders. In Sendai, I don't really see myself getting another district. The only reason I would, we'll get a three turn stock exchange. The only reason I would is simply that it makes these districts better, right? If I get a holy site here, it's a plus four holy site, but it makes the campus and the commercial hub better, which I think might be worth it going into the end game here. It's also fun to just see big numbers go up. <laughs> okay, there are people spying on me. Oh, a great work of art for some oil. I'll take that. But they've escaped from Tokyo without being caught. They haven't damaged anything, though, so that's good. Yeah, I'm going to say no. I'm not getting involved in any foreign wars. So we can get offshore oil rigs now, which is wonderful. I'm, I'm used to getting having to wait a little bit for that, but we're doing really well with our yield, so that's great. I think I'm going to get these turtles first. Is that tradable? Yeah, these are extra turtles now, eh? Cool. Oh, people are trying to attack the nuclear submarines. I think a geothermal plant is going to be pretty fun. Let's get that. And we'll get the geothermal plant. Let's come in here and grab that. I do want this oil as well. We will get the oil. Don't worry. But oh, this is not the same Philip that they made a model for in the game. That's crazy talk. I mean, there's just so much for our builders to do. I could I could get a million builders here, hey? Um, is there anywhere else I can put down power? Power is just the most critical thing for us right now. It doesn't seem like there's many places where we desperately need it. We're back in a normal kind of coal situation now. I'll come across and get those turtles as well. Shizuoka, it's time to get a seaport going. God, it makes those tiles better, hey? Love a seaport. 
in a campus research grants in as many cities as possible we just need to move through these great people these ones all really suck and i need the ones that provide bonuses for the campus project a plus six commercial hub sure does seem like something worth getting and we can almost buy hercules back as well so we buy hercules back and get that down that feels good nagano is just kind of getting started eh? we'll get the industry there and get some power on these tiles and nagano will be its own kind of happy little city I never really get to build these geothermal plants and by god do they suck but hey we'll get that production of science now I'm going to build the Statue of Liberty here, not because we need the Statue of Liberty, but because I think it's funny if we have the Statue of Liberty. I'm also perfectly aware I could be launching the moon landing. I'm just not in a rush. I'm having fun with this game. We'll take a minute with it. We are putting some builders on some hill tiles in anticipation of being able to build wind farms. Just another power play here just to make sure that there's power. And those tiles are just better. Like the wind farms just give you more yields on these hill tiles. And so they're kind of good to build anyway. The solar farms aren't amazing. Sometimes you'd rather just have the farms. Uh, but these ones are reasonable replacements for the mines. So we'll take a look here. Put down the wind farm. Get the production. Get the gold. Powers the city a little more. Reduces the reliance on coal. Everyone's super happy. All right. Time to build the Statue of Liberty real quick. Then we will launch the moon landing. And we'll do that with builders as well. I kind of want to show off that functionality and how it works. We're up to the point where we're getting 30 gold, 7 production, 9 food, 7 science, and 7 culture from a trade route. That's absolutely bonkers. Hey, we got a stadium down. That feels pretty good. That's going to give us some cool stuff. Um, 3,000 gold. I think I will buy you a broadcast center. We're not even powered up here. Hey, that's why it's really important to get those power um, things down because they don't always reach all the cities. Do I want to just get a dumb industrial zone for no reason? Probably not. I think we're at the point where that's just a waste of time. Just campus research grants everything. New districts in like bad cities are, are not going to be helpful. Buy Hercules back, though, because I will certainly be getting that commercial hub in Takamatsu. These people are so desperate for oil. It's a ton of gold and a great work of writing. Like, what a huge win. They're just funding my victory at this point. It hadn't really occurred to me, too, that an encampment might be good just to have some more storage for all of my... Um, what's it called up here? Resources? But, hey, we're launching the Mars colony now. We're getting how many is it? 200, 245 science per turn. I think that's good. As much as I love the 10 housing and 10 amenities, I'm going to go for the 245 science per turn. I also do want the builder card to go in. We'll do that in the next government, though, because I want, yeah, with synthetic technocracy, the more builder charges you have, the more you can use them in city projects, which is what I kind of want to show off. So I want to make sure we're doing that. From here, I just need to find out where everything is. So we'll tech through this. I just need to see where the exoplanet expedition is and go into it, but I can't see it yet, so we won't worry about it. Good commercial hub goes down and VB buys a market. And then I can also buy a trader in Tokyo to, to hype up that city even more. Oh, I can't yet until I get the Gilded Vault. That's right, that's right, that's my bad. That's my bad. I got a little bit excited. Hey, we finally hit a thousand science. I thought we'd get there closer to the end of the game, but we're cruising for a bruising right now. Look how great that is. Yeah, I think I want to move Liang to Kyoto and just start pumping out builders in Kyoto. So those will be six charge builders, and that's what we need to win this game. So we'll let Liang kind of chill there. I'll grab an archaeologist while we're waiting. That's all good. That feels great. In Takamatsu, I will grab that Gilded Vault, which opens up the trade route. Now, can I get that trader in Tokyo? I sure can. I don't really know what to do for more housing. Like, I guess another neighborhood <laughs> might be interesting. Like, we're kind of, we're kind of at the end here. I think we'll just go campus research grants until we're ready to do the exoplanet expedition. The exoplanet expedition is the only one that's helped by having multiple spaceports. And so we'll just kind of wait for that to come in. You, you're not doing anything, Okayama. You just keep getting builders. Builders will be helpful. Builders will be great. We love a builder. Hey, the Statue of Liberty is in. That's a cool wonder for us. Some Diplo favor for us as well. Not Diplo favor, diplomatic victory points for us. Might actually be helpful by the end if we take that away from the AI. It depends how close they get to a Diplo victory. I'm not overly convinced they'll get that close, but you do want to make sure in times like these. Oh, here we go. Mogadishu? Oh, we're still not even close in Mogadishu. We're, we're getting there, though. We will be close. Two more turns. Research robotics. Have we not done that yet? Oh, we're, we're getting there as well. Uh-oh, we've been sabotaged. Pricks. Absolute warmongers. There's a spy in our neighborhoods. Oh, they're pillaging everything. Oh, God. Oh dear, the one place we didn't provides one appeal. What a waste. 
This one is also a waste for this game just because we have so much going on. Okay, fine. You want to play this way? You want to play this way? I'm going to get the best unit I can possibly do. Let's get a machine gun. Yeah, you didn't want to face off against a machine gun, did you? I didn't think so. Do you want to face off against Hercules? I'll put you up against Hercules. I can't believe we got sabotaged in a neighborhood. What pricks? So there are spies. If they're spying in our neighborhoods, I'm not even going to be that mad about it because it means they're not siphoning our funds. They're not sabotaging our spaceports. It kind of just is what it is. We're getting a good government now. This government is going to give us enough space. I mean, the power is going to be wonderful. The production is going to be great. But it gives us enough space for all the cards that we want. Definitely want public works to be in there. In terms of all the red cards, definitely one movement per turn in our territory is wonderful. I'm just going for the ones that give me good yields. I'm just not even going to overthink it. We're, we're really far ahead. Things are great. Even with this dude pillaging stuff, we are absolutely cruising here. This is all stuff that can be repaired really easily. Yeah, our homie wasn't expecting the Hercules play, I'm sure. All right, this city's whole deal is going to be to build as many builders as possible. It's going to have Liang. They're going to have a lot of charges now. Yeah, scroll. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to show off how this works. I'm going to buy a builder here. And then next turn, I'll show off how you submit it to the spaceport. You sacrifice it for the good of the realm, you know? Oh, we jailed a spy. Yeah, Greek spy. Get out of here, homies. It's rude that people are trying to spy on me, I think. I've never done anything to anyone. I'm just a peaceful guy hanging out, minding my own business. A club of Hercules. Hell yeah. All right, where's our spaceport at? Spaceport's down here. So these can only be done with the Royal Society. But you're coming to the spaceport. Add production to a project once per city per turn. So every turn we can sacrifice a builder and it will add production to this. So it took a turn off and added 239 production to the moon landing. So it makes it happen quicker. Is Hercules even necessary? Can I just kill this dude with the machine gun? Oh no, Hercules is definitely necessary. Okay, well now I can fix the freaking neighborhood. That was so cruelly destroyed. People lived there. Hey, Robert's going to space too. What a homie. A people without the what a homie can i i won the world fair yeah yeah cool cool um no one else is winning any victory so let's go we demolish the world fair one diplo victory point 100 great person points how's our diplomatic victory going we have the most amount of points that has more to do with the uh the what's it called the statue of liberty than it does with our abilities but you know you don't complain 400 science for every rainforest tile is such a waste of my life, but no one else is even close to the next one, so I'm just going to have to recruit it, which feels so bad. Can you get off my... Whatever. I'm going to give it to... Oh, you're on Bolshoi Theater, too. Thanks. Come here. Awesome. To every rainforest tile adjacent? Yeah, come to there, I guess. Sure. What's the next one? Okay, well, someone else is getting the next one, which is fantastic, so that's good. Uh, writing is fine. Oh, I can just build any wonder I want with this. That's pretty funny. If I put Hercules on the neighborhood, does that stop the spies? Like, if he's, Hercules is just gonna beat you up or something? That'd be pretty funny. Production awards, buildings, in Theater Square? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Oh, give me the two points. Give me the two points. I want to win a Diplo victory, please. Uh, go ranged, I suppose. I don't think that matters for me. As a, which one should just win the game? Call it early. Yeah, the moon landing. I do wish there was like a different infographic for this so it didn't seem so similar to the moon landing. I feel like we could have created different graphics. That's five era score, incredible stuff. Tourism across the empire. It's giving me great person points. Yeah, I'll take that. Can't believe the rock bands are allowed to just like chill on my spot. Yeah, might as well launch the Mars colony and at least get it done. I can start sacrificing builders. Boom. Took a turn off. 367 is not bad. That's a good sacrifice. That's that extra... The Sydney Opera House. Why not? That's that extra... Um, production going. That extra build charge we fought for. A nine-turn biosphere does rock. Power for all offshore wind farms, solar farm, wind storm, geo plants, and dams. Tourism to their power, plus one appeal. I, I like the biosphere. I do like the bio. It's just a bit unnecessary. Like, we have enough power. We're not going to need it. We have enough aluminum for what we're trying to do. I think that's okay. Hey, we got a shipwreck. That's pretty rad. A Tokugawa necklace. Out of everything in the shipwreck, that's what we found. Are we close to Mogadishu? I do want to take it over. 
Three envoys. Oh my god, we're so close. We're one away. Give me one. I'm getting three next turn. Chat, we're taking Mogadishu. We are taking Mogadishu. I promised it. I promised we were stealing Mogadishu. And I'm a man who keeps his promises. I like how I'm leading the culture victory somehow. That's pretty cool. We take those. Gorgoros capture Granada. I'm passing on that. Sorry. I'm an isolationist. The only thing I do is I come in. Boom. We're the Suze of Mogadishu. And now we own Mogadishu. <laughs> it gave us the extra trade route slot we were looking for. How much loyalty are we losing? We're only losing 1.1 and I have a governor title. Uh, yeah, I will be appointing our homie to Mogadishu. It gives you 10 extra. That's so funny. Oh my god, I can get a gilded vault right away. Now I have an extra trade route slot after all that. Holy smokes. What a dream. Mogadishu is in the house, everybody. That's so stupid. <laughs> that is genuinely so stupid. That that's like, what is this game? Like, what is this game of Civ? I am going to use Hercules to smash down an encampment on a tile we don't really care about. I am starting to think that it might be a good idea to have our aluminum cranking up because we're going to need a lot of aluminum for the end game here. And I just want to make sure we have as much of it as possible. I'll be back. Hey, we got giant death robots. That's pretty rad. I don't think we'll use them in this game. We want the exoplanet expedition. Then we just need everything else. And just get through everything else as quickly as you can, please. And Kamen going down here in... Is this Kyoto? I believe it's Kyoto here. Then we can build the barracks, which will give us a plus 10 stockpile. And then we can build the armory, which will give us another stockpile. And then the military academy, etc., etc., will give us another stockpile. I might actually just build another encampment somewhere anyway, just so we can get the stockpile going. It might even be a bit late for that, but we're at least gaining now. Yeah, Exoplanet sure. Expedition has been unlocked in the tech tree, which is wonderful. That's kind of the last step here. I want to make sure we're selling all this good stuff. For gold, I also want to make sure we're purchasing everything we can purchase. Not coal, yeah, dingus. Yeah, there we go. Getting all the amenities we can, which is exactly what we want. We're going to buy the military academy when we can, and then we're just going to sacrifice homeboy to the spaceport when we can, and that should be it. Oh, look at this. We can get co-encampments. No shot. We can get duo encampments, everyone. Since I'm just doing this for the cheap storage, I actually don't need the the military academy. The best thing you can do is just give us builders to, for us to sacrifice. It's pretty fine. All right. The Mars colony has been launched. So that leaves us with only one thing left to do. Cities with the spaceport gain plus three aluminum per turn and power per turn. That's incredibly helpful because we're going to need that aluminum. So let's come in here and we'll get rid of those 11 amenities. We just bought a ton of amenities, so we'll be totally fine there. Yeah, we lost 40 science, though, because those amenities are keeping our cities happier. So that's something we should keep an eye on. In Tokyo, I definitely want to just get straight into the Exoplanet Expedition. So we're sacrificing builders every day. Every day is a new builder sacrifice. We're accumulating 11 aluminum per turn. I think that's going to fill up our stockpile pretty darn quickly. It has been said... That's what you want to see, though. 11 per turn is incredible. So we'll sacrifice you. Next builder up. You can only do it once per turn, so we can't have too many builders lined up. But you want to make sure people are ready to go. We, we just got arrow score for the military academy, which is pretty funny. I didn't realize that was going to happen, but we'll take it. We have launched the Exoplanet Expedition. It actually said two turns, so it wasn't ready to jump into this cutscene. <laughs> That's okay. It's the same as the others. Again, I think we maybe could have created a couple of different ones. But that's wonderful. So the way this exoplanet expedition works is once you do it, you are traveling at one light year per turn, and then you need to get to 50 light years. So you might be asking, do we have to wait 50 turns to win? Not exactly. This is where having multiple um, spaceports comes in handy. You can run at the cost of either power or aluminum. Oh, we don't even have them unlocked yet. You can run projects that are unlocked probably here now that I think about it. And once those projects are unlocked, you can speed up the amount of um light years per turn you're doing the quickest way to speed that up is campus research grants just get as much going as possible so that is exactly what we're going to do we're going to start lining up builders to sacrifice because now we'll be able to sacrifice them in multiple spaceports right so you want to make sure 
they are ready to go at all times for these projects. Oh god, big eruption. What happened? You can never plan Did it kill anything important? Let's see. I mean, our entire campus. That's pretty important, I'd say. So I don't, uh, we gotta fix that up. Yeah, we lost so much science because of that too. Wow. Grants two cosmetic, which gives us amenities, which is amazing. So we'll do that. You can tell how out of pace we are with the game too, because it gives us the Eureka for rocketry here, but we're gonna buy this. So we have it ready to go for the space race projects once they're uh, usable. We've entered the atomic era. The Khmer aren't happy with us for some reason, I suppose. Oh, everyone's in a golden age now. Sorry, Poland. Tough life. I think we're just going heartbeat of steam again. Production awards wonders. Campus gives us production. We just want as much production as possible. So we are going to go with that. Great person. I don't really care about six, six loyalty to whatever. Sure. I guess the smart thing to do would be Mogadishu down. Oh, no. Mogadishu's flooding. Can we hurry this up? Can we fix this? Can we get a military engineer going down there or something? No, we're still killing spies. They can't beat us. They tried to recruit partisans. They got absolutely whacked. Sit down. Sit down. Go home. Oh, my God. It's not even here. It's in this unrevealed one. We still have eight more turns to go. Oh, my God. Unbearable, I tell you. We got to be able to push this along with campus research. Look how many builders I have just sitting around ready to activate. Uh, there's a lot of campus research uh, projects coming good in the next couple of turns. Hopefully that pushes our science over the edge here. It's a bad time to lose Nagoya's campus. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's see what happens. We got AI going. Oh, now we have three turns for this. How is that even possible? Three, six. So we're still eight away. Oh my God. 12. This is ridiculous. Hey, becoming the suzerain of more city states is definitely going to help because that'll push our science up quite a bit. Yeah, so now we're at 1286. I think maybe that's what happened, actually, is that um, we lost the Suze of a couple city states, and so that was holding us back a little bit. I mean, now that it's happened, it does kind of seem that way. We're getting through these a little bit quicker now. If I have to hear one more rock band, like, honestly, maybe the best thing about having Civ 7 come out soon is I never have to listen to that stupid rock band noise again. Oh my god. It is unfathomable that they picked the most annoying noise possible, but they also didn't create multiple different noises. So each rock band is only capable of playing the same noise. Are we gonna beat this in time? I don't even know, man. I don't even, I'm trying. I'm trying to get as much production in here as possible. Three turns still. I just don't have a way to get a military engineer, engineer over there quickly enough. Oh, I think we lost it. I think we lost it. Coastal tiles lost. Is it Mogadishu? Yeah, Mogadishu has officially lost some. We can still flood barrier <laughs> this little one. <laughs> oh, we didn't beat it. We tried. We tried, but it, no use. All right, please boost us all the way through. There's like 900 projects. Come on, man. Get us through Seastead. Skip us the turn. Okay, you did not even come close to skipping us that turn. Triggers the Eureka for all text in the information area. I think we did that, didn't we? Yeah, that's none, because we're through the information era. My god. You know what? If you can't have a city, you can at least have a mountain tunnel. Or a mountain tunnel, a ski resort. Go skiing. We're trading swimming for skiing. All right, Gorgo's denounced this probably because we're about to win. And I imagine Gorgo doesn't like that, considering she's ahead in the game score. I'm glad it said one turn, only for it to distinctly not take one turn. That's always sweet. I love when that happens. Ah, uh, finally we found the off-world mission. So now we can start figuring this bad boy out. Okie dokie. Am I still- is there still stuff I haven't unlocked yet? Oh yeah, theocracy. Let's make sure we're unlocking everything here. Right, surely being at 1500 makes this go quicker. Come on. 1500 is a lot of science. It's a lot of science. A lot of people struggle to get up to like 500. Can we just slam this door shut on the game? Let's go. I don't like to commit myself about heaven. Okay, or don't. Take your time. I don't care. I don't mind. I don't have anywhere to be. All right, now I can finally show off what's happening here with the off-world mission. No, my friend. Thank God. Okay, we have the projects now. Off-world mission. We're coming to Tokyo. We're going to build the one that uses aluminum. 30 aluminum to launch the Lagrange station. That's going to happen there. We're launching the Lagrange station in Osaka as well. It's going to happen there. And we're launching the Lagrange station in Nagoya as well. That's going to happen there. Once each of these is done, it is going to add one light year per turn. 
to our count, right? Can I not sacrifice you? What is happening? Oh, is this the same spaceport? Oh, I was meant to go to this spaceport. In any case, though, that's okay. I can sacrifice you there. Um, so once these are all done, we'll be going two, three, four light years per turn. Um, and obviously that gets you to 50 faster if you're going multiple light years per turn instead of just one. All right, give me a, give me a project in Tokyo. Give it to me. Let's rock and roll. Hell yeah. Same animation. Lagrange laser station is down. So that's all done and dusted. Now, if we go to our science victory, you'll see we're launching two light years per turn. So it goes 17, 19, et cetera, all the way up to the victory. We are winning three of the different victory conditions, which is awesome. Scotland has tons of aluminum for sale. So I'm gonna try and buy uh, 90 of his aluminum because that'll give me a bunch more projects. I, I, I don't even care about this. Four, 300, take 300 of that. That's still not enough. What are you talking about? That's not enough. Here, take some uranium. Yeah, build a nuke. Take some Diplo favor. I'm stealing. Oh, here we go. 100% production award space race projects. Give me that. So I mistimed some of this. I would have liked to get these great scientists a little earlier. I would have liked to go through the tech tree a, a little bit more quickly. Um, considering that we kind of had to wait there at the end. But otherwise, I think things are going okay. So we should have two stations launching now. So it'll be four light years per turn. Which feels very good, obviously. And there's one. There's two. Oh, we got three launching that turn, so that's even better. We'll take that. So now we're at five light years per turn. Yeah, we're at five light years per turn. And we have enough aluminum to launch three more, so we shall. Now, before we do that, let's actually get the Space Race Project guy going. All right, Mr. Builder, get out of here. 100% project towards Space Race Project, so we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, one turn on the Lagrange there. That feels great. Two turns on the Lagrange here feels really good. And how many turns on the Lagrange here? Two turns on the Lagrange there. And that's like before we apply this boost. So that's another one next turn there. Is there another builder nearby who can pop in here? Not really. So we'll do that next turn. That's okay. Yeah, we've kind of utilized all our builders, hey? Eh? We built a bunch of builders and now we've kind of used them. I guess it doesn't matter at this point, though. Um, the game is pretty one, so I think we'll call it a day. Let's get like nine machine guns. Why not? There we go. One more station, two more stations, three more stations. What is that now? Eight per turn? We're going eight light years per turn. So things are speeding up pretty quickly here. We have enough aluminum for one more. So I'll send one more and get that going. I think everyone else can kind of just hang out, call it a day. You have done good. Everything's great. Well done. Awesome stuff. Good work, team. Now he's got to wait for the turns to tick by. Last station goes down. We're now at nine per turn. So we'll go 39, 48, 50. So we have three more turns to go. We are here on the final turn of our game. I hope you all had a good time. If you did, like button, subscribe button, comments, merch, Discord, check it all out. But as is customary, I'm going to shift enter to kind of nullify this turn and just move on to the next one. That'll be it. We are going to have more than 50 points in our you know scientific endeavor to mars or wherever it is we're going and that'll be enough to give us a scientific victory on deity as tokugawa in civ 6 and there it is we're in space oh my goodness what a dream what a fun game thank you all for voting for tokugawa i appreciate you all very much i really hope you enjoyed this that was a good time we didn't do it as isolation-y as i did the first time where i didn't even trade with other people but i feel like we committed to the bit i feel like we had a good time we definitely throwed down and, and made sure the enemies knew what was up. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this. That'll be the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone.